Well, after a massive snowstorm, it does take a while to clean up. So then after that, it really begs the question, when is it safe enough for those kids to go back to school? So we caught up with the mayor of Providence and the mayor of Pawtucket and found out why one city is going back to school tomorrow and why one city is not. Students in the capital city will have to put their sleds away and break out the backpacks. So school's absolutely on, and I'm sure I don't have a lot of uh, fans with elementary, middle, and high school students, but it's all right. School's on. Mayor Jorge Alorza says the city has done a tremendous job clearing the roads and parking lots, but he's asking every resident and business owner to do their job to make sure kids can get to school safely. And so please, I'm asking every single resident and business owner throughout the, throughout the city, please do everything you can to have those sidewalks clear to have them plowed so that so the kids and, and pedestrians can use the sidewalks to get to and from school work and for all of their other needs. But it's the condition of the sidewalks just up Route 95 in Pawtucket that was one of the deciding factors in canceling school for another day. Sidewalks are all done around the schools but as you kids are walking to the schools a lot of the homeowners haven't been able to to uh, get their sidewalks clear. There is an ordinance, but we don't want to be out there citing unless we have to. Mayor Don Grebian says he wants to give residents time to dig out and also time for road crews to continue to clear out parking lots before the next potential storm hits. We could have rushed to get kids back in, and I know the parents would have appreciated that. You know, we side on uh, the side of caution, and we know the kids will love us for one more day, uh, but the reality is it's a safety factor. And Mayor Gribbian says that the city will likely start enforcing residents to clear their sidewalks probably late tomorrow afternoon and Friday morning. Also, the city of Pawtucket is lifting its parking ban tomorrow at 6 a.m. Reporting live in Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.